This current PhD structure programme, which is a four-year programme, is one that has 15 students divided between three strands. I have to say that this PRTLI programme has been huge for us. We're very interested in neurodegenerative diseases, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis. And the whole idea is to try and understand what's happening with regard to these diseases, where we might intervene and, and alleviate some of the difficulties associated with them. So a big component of the work would be looking for protective agents to try and make sure that the neurons or nerve cells are protected against the damage that occurs in these diseases. A couple of students have won awards to attend meetings internationally, for example in Australia, Germany, the UK. Um, uh, one of our prize students has been shortlisted for a very prestigious Biospark um, uh, award, which is an award that's given to students in the UK and Ireland. Um, she came third in that programme. Uh, we have had students who have won uh, awards for presentation skills that uh, des are designed to try and persuade the students to speak science to lay people and make them understand. So we've had an array of students who have won different types of awards and it's really very heartening that that's the case. We have 14 other people on the ERDF funded project here in Trinity alone. The RTLI programme has given a, a number of brilliant opportunities throughout um, the structure of the programme. I look into Alzheimer's disease which affects approximately 36 million people worldwide and it's a progressive deterioration of the brain. So I was shortlisted as a British Society for Immunology PhD Brightspark in December. So I travelled to Brighton and gave a presentation to um, a lot of PIs, a lot of internationally recognised scientists. And my talk was on a novel T-cell subset in CNS autoimmunity and yeah, I was very lucky to become runner-up in that competition. I became an ambassador for the Innovation Academy after carrying out the first two core modules. Part of my job was to promote the work of the Innovation Academy and to give testimonials at different events and to try and encourage people to join what I thought was an extremely beneficial programme. My research is concerned with the role of different immune cell types in the pathogenesis of a model of multiple sclerosis. So I'm working on um, enhancing a neurotransmitter to um, increase growth of brain cells and to enhance their connections. So here I have some neurons that have been stained for markers that show a neuron that is sending a message and another marker that shows a neuron that is receiving a message. And when these markers come together at the same place, we know that there is a connection between these neurons and that they are able to communicate with each other in the brain.